Well, I don't speak for you. This is Wes. And this is Dan. And together we are... Phone So. Other people work here, though, too. <laughs> Besides us. Okay, so here's the first question. Why can't I just use alcohol wipes? Mm, very common question. Mark Cuban's first question. In the yes, well, actually, you could use them, but you'll run into two problems. The first is there's an oleophobic coating that's on your screen when you get it, and it'll strip that coating, so your screen will start to be super smudgy. Which, if you like that thing, then you can use alcohol wipes. Yeah. Um, probably the other reason not to use it is that it, you probably won't kill all the germs on your phone. Just because of uh, the application process, sometimes we don't get in all the nooks and crannies, and that's why we made phone soap. That's right. It's a machine that works 99.99% every time, no user error. And if we can convince Mark Cuban on that, I hope we can also convince you. Why doesn't the phone soap 3.0 and phone soap XL have an on and off switch? Great question. Well, we did it on purpose, actually, because we want every time you open the phone soap for you to put your phone into and take it out of a sanitary space. So when you close it, even though there's nothing in it, that area is being disinfected. And it doesn't use a lot of electricity, so you don't have to worry about wasting energy. It makes it easier to use, we think, as well. That's right. And don't worry if you are worried about the bulbs wearing out. We do have a lifetime warranty on bulbs. If they just die from normal usage, call customer service. We'll hook you up. Can I keep my case on my phone slash tablet while I use it? Yeah, great question. What we want to do with phone stuff is sanitize whatever you touch. So your case is also getting dirty. So yes, please disinfect your phone in its case inside of Phone Soap 3. Phone Soap 3 was built to fit most all phones, even including an OtterBox case or something of that size. Phone Soap XL, same thing. Put your tablet and your case in. I'd say we also recommend that once a month or every few weeks you do remove the case and do both separate to make sure each of them are completely sanitized. I like that. How did you come up with the idea? That was many years ago, maybe seven years ago. I was doing cancer research and Dan called me up and told me about this report that the average cell phone was 18 times dirtier than a public restroom. Mm -hmm. And I said, no way, Dan, that's not true. And so, being in a lab, we swabbed a bunch of... I, I tried to find a surface dirtier than my phone, and I couldn't find it. My phone was the dirtiest thing. And that's kind of uh, mm -hmm. what sparked it. Dan was in business school. Yeah, and we said, you know, we were early iPhone adopters, and so we knew that these touch screens would only get worse and worse. What, it was 2009? Um, so we thought it would be a great problem to, to solve for ourselves. We knew where we used our phones all the time as college students, uh, and assumed that... In the bathroom. In, Let's just get right to it. And uh, we didn't want to stop doing that because it makes that time just so much more enjoyable. And so we wanted a way to disinfect them. And uh, here we are, right? Yes. We thought also, let's put a charger in it too. Clean it, charge it, every night. Yeah, we've got enough things to clean, obviously. But uh, the phone being so dirty, we wanted to make it as easy to clean as possible. So we married the UV light with a charger, like Dan said, so that you don't really have to remember to clean it. You're kind of charging the phone every night anyways. So just plug it in the phone soap instead of plugging it into the wall. We've got another great question for you. How dirty is my phone really? Well, it depends on how much toilet texting you're doing. Yeah. But uh, no, it, uh, really everything our hands touch, our phones touch, because we use them all the time. So it just depends on how touchy you are. Think about where you put your phone, tabletops. Think about where you put your hands. You are in the subway, you're opening doors, you're shaking hands, and all that's being transferred to the phone. So it comes from everywhere. And the main problem is that on a surface and other places, the bacteria can eventually die, but your cell phone is warm and you store it in dark places like pockets and purses. So that bacteria breeds. You might have heard us say, it's a petri dish in your pocket. It's become a third hand that you never wash.